Hello, and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna very quickly run through how I make rocks in Rhino. And so you can see in this rendering, we've got a rock here, a sort of a water feature thing in a pool. And then here we've got rocks making these cliff faces. And so coming over to Rhino, the first thing we're gonna do is make a sort of cube. It doesn't have to be super precise, we're gonna mess it up. And the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna sort of pull these edges in just to make it a bit more of an organic shape, a little less rigid, because our rocks are perfectly cube, cubish, cube, cubular. So um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a displacement map to sort of roughen up this texture. So we're gonna use the granite texture and keep this at either a low or medium quality we use medium for this one. And what we want to do is, I'll make a copy of this one just for, um, for the sake of demonstration so we can sort of see the steps. So now that we have this, we're going to use extract render mesh and then we can just delete the original. And so now you can see the difference between a surface with a displacement map and a render mesh. And so this is basically just taking the displaced surface and making it a mesh so that you can see exactly what's being rendered. So now that we have these uh, rocks, we can come over to the layer, layer, the properties for materials, and we'll make a new custom material, and then come down and click to assign. And we're gonna use this rock texture, and for a texture for rocks, you want to find a material that doesn't have much shading on it. So as you can see, this photo is taken um, in a softer light. So that way, when you cast your own shadows from Rhino on it, you don't have competing shadows between the shadows from the texture and the shadows created by the model. So we can go ahead and open that and then throw this into a rendered view. And so you can see it's definitely closer to looking like a rock than this one on the left. Although our pattern is being stretched and distorted a little bit strangely. So what we can do to fix that is we can come to texture mapping and then click this box. And we're, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw a box around our rock. And then what's happening is essentially is you can imagine the photo being placed on the sides of this box and then just being pasted, extruded directly from that box onto our object. So we can go ahead and draw this bounding box loosely around our model. And then now the textures apply a little bit more realistically. Another problem might be that this texture is a little bit too big for the scale of rock. So to either increase or decrease that texture, you can come back to this rock texture, come down to repeat, and if you're repeating it more times, then you're making your rock bigger because there's more, the scale is smaller because you're using the image more times. Whereas if you make it smaller, then you're increasing the scale. So we're gonna make the scale a little bit bigger so you can see the effect that has in sort of adjusting the scale. So now you can see how this makes our rock look a little bit bigger. Um, one thing to notice is that as you increase the amount of time as it's repeating the texture, you get more tiling, and that might require more work in Photoshop to come in and smooth out this line a little bit. So yeah, that's how I make rocks in Rhino. Thanks for watching.